everybody welcome back to my channel it's monday welcome 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 yes and thank you thank you for being here for those of you who are new thank you for joining for those of you who have been here um yes thank you yeah so anyway a um, quick video because yes we always always get questions graduates people coming in people going out and everyone everyone wants to know and become familiar and clear and good with the order of draw and what tubes what are the Hopefully the dog fight is over. Okay, everyone wants to know and be refreshed and go over the order of draw, the tubes, the basic tubes, which you guys already know that's what I teach. I teach the basics first. I try to make sure that you have that foundation. There's nothing more important when you finish your phlebotomy classes than knowing the basic tubes, the five basic, okay? I throw in the gray top tube, which makes makes it six, but the five basic tubes, everyone should know. So let's jump right into these uh, tubes. Be ready, go greet, laugh. I don't know if you guys know that. I think everyone does, but that is the mnemonic that I came up with for the order of draw. Be ready, go greet, laugh, okay? You, it's it's a mindset it's a mental thing for your patients it's a mental um saying for you just to get you upbeat just to get ready for your patient just to get ready for the stick okay you want to be ready you go get your patient you greet them and just in just enjoy that interaction that's what laugh is all about b is blue that's your first two in the order of draw now i don't talk about blood cultures much or the fungal tube which is a tube for cult to be cultured because right off the bat i tell everyone blood cultures are first i don't include them in the order of draw because the order of draw pertains to your tubes I know it sounds weird, but the order of draw, when you're drawing blood, the order of draw is your tubes because think like this, blood cultures are first. That's a, that's just a given. Know that, then you can focus on your tubes on blue, red, gold, green, lavender, and gray. Blue, red, gold, green, lavender, and gray. Say that. Blue, red, gold, green, lavender, gray. Say it at night before you go to bed if you're trying to pass a test tomorrow or you know whatever the case may be if you're having trouble say that mnemonic and or say those tubes in that order be ready go greet laugh and be great now i'm going to give you just basic tests that go with these basic tubes and i say basic and people will say oh well lupus is used yeah i know that i know lupus you collect and test for lupus in the blue top too i'm talking basics if you're in primary care if you're in internal med if you're in the hospital setting and you're running up to do labs in the morning or you know the end of the night doctors want basics they're not running these major tests unless there's just something crazy going on early early in the morning that morning round or even late in the evening what's happening is they need they need levels they need they need values that affect what's going on on the surface okay lupus is not on the surface i get it there are a ton of tests that go with these tubes but i stick with the basics blue is your first tube in the order of draw ptinr ptt is the basic test that's run in this tube red red top two basic i'm just going to say the joxin level but that's a drug level okay i used to say psa okay so your red top tube is next and that tube is mostly used for drug levels you will go up in the morning to do your morning rounds and you're going to test for drug levels more than likely more than likely at the joxin level um the valproic acid um just drug levels just a regular drug drug level will be collected in your red top tube drug levels that's basic just basics okay 
um, for men PSA so that will be also for men that's a common test that you will also see in the red top too gold top I'm just gonna say HIV RPR because that's basic for primary care internal med even in hospital settings also thyroid thyroid test TSH just on the surface remember just on the surface so I do like to say an HIV RPR is not a surface test but it's common it's more common than anything else it's the most common thing and test that you're going to see that's going to have to be run and drawn in a serum separator tube and I'm going to come back to the serum separator tube because there is another tube that goes with this that I don't want you guys to say oh that's not the same tube yes yes it is okay be ready go greet is next our green top two cp comp cp basic your comprehensive metabolic profile or your comprehensive not your comprehensive or your basic metabolic profile which is a bmp so you got your cmp and your bnp yes be ready go greet laugh i when i say laugh i'm just saying just lighten it things up just don't don't take it too seriously don't take it too seriously go in introduce yourself lighten lighten the room up the environment up for your patient so that everything can go smoothly for you so these are your five basic tubes for those of you who have been asking i will always go over these for you and i'm going to swing back to the gold top tube because it is a serum separator tube also the serum separator tube, your SST tiger top, speckled top, molded top, you know, several names for it. These tubes are the same. Do not be confused. Do not let someone tell you that they're not the same. If you don't have a gold top tube, yes ma'am, yes sir, you can use your speckled red top tiger top tube because they're both serum separator tubes. Do not be confused. Don't let anyone tell you that they're not the same. Yes, they are. Your gold top tube and your light green top tube can also be used for chemistry panels so don't freak out when they say oh we use green oh we use gold it's okay it's okay because some clinics use one over the other clinics will more than likely use your gold top tube because it has to sit the clot has to develop you have to spin it it has all day to sit when you use the green top tube this tube does not have all day to sit the blood cannot sit on its cells all day so it's drawn it's spun and it's ready to go Thumbs up this video if you like it. Comment down below if there's any questions pertaining to phlebotomy, pertaining to my trip, pertaining to this journey, of anything and everything. So yes, everything else is still available, products and services. The link is in the description below if you need me. I am available VI a schedule now for classes life coach classes, phlebotomy classes, my spiritual journey classes, my midlife clarity classes, all of them are doing very well. And someone went ahead and we were on we were on a live the other day and someone um signed up and then when I finished the live they canceled. You don't have to do that. You, you really don't have to do that, okay? I gave them a shout out and the whole nine and it, we don't you don't have to do that. If you don't want the class, you don't want the class. Don't sign up to get shout outs and then, you know, cancel at the end. I don't have time. I don't have time for games, but I do have time to come and share my knowledge with you all and if you want a class, fine. If not, that's fine as well. But for the most part i love you guys i thank you guys for continuing to support me being here showing up when i put my videos up and um, especially on instagram you guys love me there and tiktok and Beagle is growing as well so those are my main platforms that i use right now so follow me there and check me out all the links are down below and yeah thumbs up share like comment let me know what you want to see next and i'll get it up for you i'll see y'all later bye